Hi, I'm Christine Augustison. I'm the SVP of content at Shop Talk. I can't even tell you how excited I am to be back at a live event. Um, just the energy that you get from attendees, even though it's an exhausting couple of days as a conference organizer, you really just sort of feed off of the excitement that people have to be back in person, back hearing in-person content and back meeting with people face to face. The turnout is better than we expected. Um, our largest Shop Talk event previously was 8,000 people and we are over 9,000. So it's the biggest Shop Talk that we've ever had, which if you had asked me six months ago, I would have never thought those words would be coming out of my mouth. It almost feels like a giddy energy, which is kind of a funny word to describe C-level executives coming into the speaker lounge and feeling giddy. I think there was one moment in time where I think we checked in 4,000 attendees um, within an hour at the registration desk. And, you know, typically for us as organizers, we think, oh, wow, that's way too long. People shouldn't be waiting in line that long. But people were so happy to be here. They were like, no, we're, we're happy to wait. We just want to be here. We want to be back in person. And so I think it's just a really sort of palpable energy. It's been a great conference so far, exhausting. I'm not sure how I'm still standing, but you know what? You do what you have to. It's nice to see people in real life again. The show is awesome. And of course, it's so great to be back with people in 3D. It's been a lot of fun. Definitely a ton of sessions. It is a jam-packed agenda. So it's been go, 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 super busy. This is actually my first ever shop talk, which I'm embarrassed to admit. So I'm excited to be here. The energy is immense. Like they've labeled it retail's big reunion and it definitely feels like that. There's, you know, people are engaged, excited. They're bringing energy. It's great to be back at Shop Talk as a live event after a, a year off. And uh, it's great to reconnect with other colleagues and friends in the industry and, and network with different retail leaders. The energy here really is tremendous. I know people talk about it, but you just have to be here as you're seeing and, and you're finding out yourself. It, it's great. And it's a much bigger event than it ever was before. And it hasn't had any impact on the quality. This is a high quality event with high quality conversations. We're doing a really big sort of deep dive into the metaverse at the show this year, and it seems like it's coming up in conversations even when the sessions aren't intended to be about the metaverse. So it seems like that's emerging as a, as a really big trend. Try to think about the metaverse as the best definition is it's a fundamentally different way that we are all going to experience the internet. Because consumers are more savvy than they've ever been, they have more access to information, especially around values that are important to them, like sustainability, like ethical ways of sourcing product. Direct-to-consumer has actually been around for a really long time, first in mail order catalogs, but you know, if we bring it a little bit more into the modern era, you have a lot of companies that people would be familiar with. The key challenge is how do you unify all these different channels into one view of the customer, knowing that those paths are so disparate. It's exciting to see what's going to happen with personalization so we can understand what each individual's journey is going to be versus trying to create all these segments. Today we're entering the space of fashion tech and Levi's can lead that and disrupt the whole industry. And that entices people who want to make a difference, who want to make an impact. How do we create great omni-channel experiences? How do we create uh, digital experiences that extend beyond just your desktop or your mobile device, but really start to help personalize the in-store shopping experience? So all of the things that consumers have gotten used to online, like alternative payment methods being one, like Afterpay, they're going to be expecting the store environment. So I think it just raises the stakes and means we've all got to continue to evolve and push the limits as folks go back to stores.